all right guys good afternoon i'm gonna go do the recap for today it was a pretty good day um but uh, i want to talk about the importance of uh, position sizing uh, in this uh, recap because that uh, position sizing is uh, something that is very very important that actually can impact uh, your uh, trading significantly hi thanks for watching my video my name is andrew aziz and i'm the author of how to day trade for a living in this channel i'm showing my daily trades on the u.s stock market i hope that you enjoy the videos make sure to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and welcome to my channel so that's the topic that i really want to talk about uh, the importance of position sizing so today trading was pretty good uh, so uh, profitable i had a loss on amd win on nvidia and a really nice win on tesla and i have no position on the main account except sitting at the jp which is doing uh, pretty good however uh, you know there is a very big lesson on amd that i want to actually discuss about that i had two trades on amd one of them was a very very nice uh, uh, win and one of them is a very very uh, small loss so as you see here i had a fairly small loss here at uh, you know an amd when you look at it here and then i had a very nice reversal that you know significantly bigger than the loss that the loss that i had uh, on amd but i ended up actually losing money on amd and that's what i want to talk about it's just the position sizing when i took a big size from this level to get a bounce amd was selling off about two percent i tried to catch a bounce from this uh, 100 uh, uh, 111 40 level toward the weave app or moving averages and i got a stopped out and then the next one i took this reversal because i really didn't have any level uh, to trade and therefore uh, you know I took a smaller size even though it popped up really exactly the way that I wanted to all the way up to above the weave app I couldn't make the losses back just because this one was only a thousand share this one was uh, somewhere around five thousand shares so that's as you see here is that uh, you know sometimes uh, uh, when you are taking uh, wrong position sizing you know the consistency is getting uh, more and more difficult overall AMD had a really you know at the open open flat but sold off really heavy at the open it seems that the whole the technology sector qqq they're all selling off tesla was two trades for me were very profitable tesla you know by the time that i took this a screenshot now is down two percent but they went down all the way up to four percent there were two levels at 245 and 242 75 these two levels i had an eye on that and i knew i'm gonna uh, be able to catch a reversal on that the first one you know it was a double bottom we tried to catch its reversal when long popped up to this moving averages sold off so the risk to reward was kind of uh, two to one and i got out completely we lost this level significantly obviously there was a shorting opportunity here uh you know paris and some other people really shorting it from the top and then what happened well, here was that we had another serious level at 242.75. I mentioned that in the chat room that I like that, especially that, uh, you know, with heavy volume, this is usually a sign of reversal. I went long, popped up the first partial, second partial, and continued all the way up to 245. And then I co completely got out of it. And that was a very nice, uh, profitable trade. Uh, NVDA was also a level at 433. I tried to catch uh, two reversal on that. You know, first I took the reversal. That was a small win. And then as soon as I saw that it's really, holding as a double bottom i went long again and you know took another profit on that uh, it wasn't a significant profit but it, uh, profit nonetheless and uh yeah that was uh, that was pretty nice oh actually uh, wait a minute uh, nvidia actually there are two more trades on nvidia yeah there are two more trades on nvidia again nvidia sold off uh, after that trade i tried to catch a quick reversal on that but you know because there was no level here i wasn't really confident on this I don't like to take reversals when there is no level. And then when it sold off completely toward 425, 424, and then I took that reversal here because we had this solid daily level here. And uh, you know we got a really, really nice bounce uh, here on NVIDIA. So four trades in total on NVIDIA, and uh, this one was a big win, and the other ones are very small, but I actually managed my risk very nicely. So four trades in total on NVIDIA, and uh, you know turned out to be very profitable it's actually here so i can actually be doing it here yeah so nvda four trade um tesla two trades and uh, the, the other stocks that we had was Roblox that sold off 18%. Uh, you know, I took a screenshot here. Brian shorted as 
uh, at the open i didn't trade it unfortunately at the open it did really nice bounce back from a level that i had 29.79 and i was hoping to get i was i was ready to get a bounce on that because it was down by the time that it came down it was like 25 percent however i didn't take that trade because i was really getting involved with the amd and nvidia and tesla but a lot of people are asking where these levels are coming you know these levels are very very important you know to have this you know you want to catch these reversals at these levels you don't want to just catch random you know uh, long here and here even at some Sometimes, you know you see these squeezes you really don't want to take them you really want to take these levels and very important daily levels uh, so the Roblox level was the one that I found was at 29.79 uh, and uh, as you see here at 29.79 actually by the time that I took this uh, screenshot it wasn't actually coming down around this level it's actually funny that this is screenshot you know but it actually came all the way down exactly to this level so 29.79 i had it obviously because of all of these bounces that we had so i saw that this might be a level that you know with heavy volume is going to bounce back especially this one so you know I, let's actually take a look at it live because uh, that uh, you know that's a screenshot that is a little bit older let's take a look at it live and see uh, what did uh, roblox did um, um, right at the roblox rblx here there you go so that's the yeah so that's the level that exactly came and bounced back oh that's actually a different a different day so yeah exactly came down all the way up to this let's go to the weekly chart you know exactly in these bounces that uh, we did and that's exactly what we uh, we were expecting to get so from the 29.79 with heavy volume so as you see here uh, it's just zooming in a little bit yeah yeah, so as you see exactly this bounce from this area was very this was also a level that you could uh, potentially trade based on that uh, but this was more more uh, important one 29.76 so having this level so overall it was a really good day rivian uh, sold off as well it was uh, a lot of trading opportunity at rivian uh, the ev sector kind of got uh, destroyed today i don't know why xpev is also going down you know it's the sector rotation when the sector is really strong it's not going to go forever you know there's always a sector rotation like right now nvidia is down as well so this sector rotation is part of the trading so nothing goes up forever you know you always have to get these bounces uh, uh, from somewhere and overall yeah it was a pretty good day again uh, you know very profitable the importance of uh, position sizing is very very important that amd was very unfortunate that i didn't make uh, you know the losses back but again that's uh, part of uh, trading thank you so much guys so uh yeah today is uh, wednesday we have the psychology webinar uh, and uh yesterday webinar by thor is also posted in our education center looking forward to see many of you guys ciao